What's up guys, Heiking here, bringing you a live reaction to Boruto, Naruto Next Generations. So this is going to be my first Boruto reaction to the manga, the Boruto manga reaction of the anime, which I, which I do watch occasionally in my own time, and I will say that the anime is superior to the manga in every way. Why? Because we have world building, we have character development, you know, something that the manga does not give us. So yeah, I'm not, as you can tell from, from the way I'm talking and my tone, I'm obviously not a big fan of the manga. Like, story-wise, yeah, it, it's fine, I guess, but there's a lot of stuff that happens that isn't explained and the anime's been, a, you know, the anime's been a, doing, been doing a better job at that than the manga has, so, you know, you know how it is. But yeah, anyway, apparently something serious has happened, leaks are out, I already know what happens apparently, but I want to read it and experience it for myself because this is a big, tremendous moment in the series and it's going to be very sad to see this adapted hopefully the adaptation in the anime will be superb uh it should be uh at the moment currently in the anime they've started to adapt the owl arc so we're now into manga territory after like what hun uh, nearly a hundred episodes it's funny because i remember predicting that we wouldn't get that stuff adapted until about at least when we're near 200 episodes or after but yeah I was right <laughs> we're getting we're getting that stuff adapted around that point now so yeah it took a while but here we are we finally made it uh, episode one I think episode 180 or 81 marks the point when with the series getting adapted now from that point um, and yeah it's gonna be interesting to see how far they're gonna go with the adaptation before they stop and start giving us anime canon episodes dealing with Kawaki and his uh, life in the village and him interacting with all the different uh, supporting cast characters and that so I'm looking forward to that eventually when we get to it but for now we got manga, manga stuff and I'm obviously I'm gonna wait for the anime episodes to come out a bit before I start watching them because I prefer to binge watch episodes than to just wait a week and watch them you know what I mean like otherwise it's just it's just boring really for me but yeah anyway let's uh, let's get into the manga then so yeah the manga is called uh, Chapter 55, A Legacy. And I don't know what volume we're on right now, actually. Let me find that out. Uh, because apparently there's, uh, they're aiming for 30 volumes with uh, Boruto. Obviously, give and take, it, it, it could change. But uh, currently, currently we have, uh, let's see, how many volumes do we have? So we're technically speaking, where this is the final chapter of volume 14. Okay. So next month we're starting volume 15 then, and I'm assuming that's when we're going to get the time skip, I'm, I imagine, because uh, I think uh, Ikimoto, is it Ikimoto that, that writes it? Oh, he doesn't write anymore, it's Kishimoto now who writes it now, Ikimoto has left, he wanted to do 13 volumes, he did 30 volumes, and now it's gone back to Kishimoto, so let me just see if I'm saying his name right, uh... Oh, it's not, wow, why the hell did I see? It's, 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 oh no, that's the anime, sorry. Um, so where, where is, where does it say who writes the manga then? Ikimoto, yeah, Ikimoto, yeah, illustrate, well, it's illustrated by him, so he didn't write it? Weird, because it, written by Kudanshi, no, it's Kudanshi, yeah, and he, he does, and he writes the anime as well, like, he's one of the writers for the anime, so yeah, he's working on the anime now, I guess, full time now. Uh, he was, I guess he was balancing between the anime and the manga, obviously it makes sense because you need all that story detail and stuff that the manga doesn't provide, but yeah, whatever, whatever. So, chapter 55, a legacy, a big panel shot of code here, a goda, a code kun, if you will. Uh, really, we don't know much about his character, the anime has been giving us a little bit, a little bit, uh, with him and Delta and his relationship with G-Gun, so obviously this kid is a... Uh, He's, he's, he's a fanatic, I guess, uh, when it comes to Jigen, uh, or Ishiki. But yeah, let's find out. Uh, okay. So we're starting with uh, Naruto, because last chapter he collapsed, right? He used that uh, boil mode, or whatever it was called. He went all full, he went basically, he went full Godzilla, basically, in nuclear mode. So he's, he's, he's in the spirit, he's in the Biju mode, uh, realm. He's getting up. Yeah, he's on the wall, and uh, yeah, Kuruma's behind him, chilling there. Over here, Naruto. Over here, Naruto. He's <laughs> looking at Kurama. Kurama. He's looking up. He's looking up. He's looking at his hands. Ah, oh, I guess that means I'm. Yes, Naruto. It means you're dead. Come on, guys. Let, let's. Uh, I came to say farewell. 
so far as that goes. And I'm just like, this may be our last conversation, so start talking. Oh man. Well, you killed my pa and ma. No, that's not it. The hell, dude? Like, me, I thought I thought you were bygones, bygones. You killed your dad, man. Did, did Kuruma technically kill, kill his parents? I mean... I guess Minato could have could have put uh, Kuruma back into Kishina, Kushina, but he never did, and then he let it stab him. But then he was doing he was doing he was performing the Death Reaper seal, so he would have died anyway. I mean, once you perform that, that's suicide, right? You're dead, right? You can't escape that. So uh, we've been through a lot, but all in all, I'm really glad you were you were around. Thanks. Are you serious? That's it. <laughs> I thought I was prepared. I was prepared for this, but now that the times come, I have no idea what to say. Really? I, I imagine the anime is going to be a bit different. Like he's going to say a lot the same way he said a lot to Minato. Like because this is a big moment for him. Like Naruto's just not Naruto's not going to just sit there. I mean, I don't know what to say. The bar, the bar, the bio mode worked, and we were able to take down that Otsutsuki. I just didn't want to chase my tails and die in vain. So this ain't a bad way to go. I've still, I've still got a lot of worries. Boruto, Kawaki, the village. Hmm. Well, that's none of my concern. You'll need to take care of that on your own. And I was like, whatever. Normally, when a Jinjuriki's Biju is distracted, they die, but that doesn't apply to you. The Biju's chakra simply vanishes. It properly looks to others like you're dead, but it's no more than a temporary state of shock. Don't worry. You'll wake up soon. So Naruto's alive, everyone! Yay! Seriously, who, who actually thought he was gonna die? Like, I can tell you right now, like, they 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 are never gonna kill Naruto off, okay? And people are gonna keep bringing that, well, what about the beginning of the, of the, of the Boruto manga and the anime? Like, you know, something obviously happened, like, I'll tell you what happened, guys. We, we assume that Kawaki's going all evil and shit. No, that's not what's happened, okay? I can tell you right now, I'm 100% certain that is not the case. The fact Boruto refers to him as Kawaki and Kawaki refers to him as Boruto and not Ishiki or Momoshiki tells me that these guys it, it's them. It's their personalities, okay? It's just that somehow Kawaki's gotten his karma back. How? I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's an artificial karma, maybe. Maybe he's gotten control of it, like, whatever. But the point is, it's his personality and it's Boruto's personality. What I think has happened is, is that the real threat attacked Konoha and Kawaki teleported Naruto away and maybe other people too in order to save him so when, when he's when he goes to Naruto that he's gonna send him to the same place as the fourth he's not saying I'm gonna send you to heaven or hell like I'm gonna kill you and send you to him no I'm gonna send you to where I've sent him where I've to in order to save him because that's what I think is going on what I think is going on it, it, it's a it's an older brother trying to save his little brother something's happened Boruto is, is trying to stop it or get in the way and Kawaki's there like you, you're not doing that no no it's over the age of shinobi is over your beliefs are, are gone it's over look at all this destruction that's happened it's dead it's dead you can't do shit nope I'm not letting you I'm gonna I'm gonna have to beat the crap out of you in order to save you and send you to where I've just sent dad and, and maybe others like that's what I think has happened I think that's that's what's happened it's not some uh, good versus evil fight we're gonna get whatever's happened in the time skip I'm assuming that you know. I'm assuming Kawaki's still a good guy, and it's it's just it's just the way. If anyone has died, it's Sasuke, okay? Because from what Boruto's wearing and wielding and that, I believe that's all Sasuke's. Unless he's trying to look like he's Sensei, I honestly believe Sasuke is the one who's dead. Like he's the one who dies, and it would make sense for Sasuke to die as well because it would give a tremendous character growth and development to all the characters. It would get, it would give it to Boruto, it would give it to Naruto and Sakura and Sarada and even Orochimaru, which would in turn maybe give some character development to Mitsuki. So you know, like you have to think about this. It's not Naruto that's dead. He's definitely not dead. Anyway, let's continue reading with this. I thought I was okay. I was prepared. I have no idea what to say. Uh -huh, I just didn't. You'll wake up. Okay, on to the next page. Hold on, wait a sec. What are you saying? Kuruma's just closing his eyes. And he's opening them. The bar you mold's price is my life, not yours, Naruto. Just so you know, I never once lied to you. At no time did I ever say that you would die. You, you deliberately misled me. Oh, man. If I told you at the get-go, that that power came in exchange for my life, you would have hesitated. Or worse, opposed it outright, even if you knew it was our only hope. Cause you're annoying like that. Am I wrong? Ah oh man, it's like a sad panel of Naruto here just looking distraught. Kuruma, 
don't look at me like that. That's what's annoying about you. Well. Oh, oh, he's fading away, man. There's like smoke coming out of him. Is it? I think it's like, yeah, it's like the fog or whatever. Like, well, I guess this is it. I've got to go, but be real careful. You ain't gonna have superhuman strength anymore. So if you overdo it, you'll end up joining me in no time. Oh, he's floating in the air now, man. Damn. But until that day comes, you be, you be well, Naruto. Hey, and he's Naruto's reaching out to grab him, and Kuruma's gone. Wait, don't go, Kuruma! And he's gone, and there's someone's hand holding him. And Naruto looks up, and it's it's Boruto. He's holding his dad's hand. He's on the floor, Dad. And Sasuke's tending to him as well, like on his knees. And Boruto. And oh man, Boruto looks like he's gonna cry, man. And there's Kawaki as well. Whoa. How could you worry me like that, stupid dad? Oh, he's hugging him. He's hugging his dad, man. Oh, that's... Oh, hey, watch it. That's sad. Stop it here, guys. And we're back again. So, yeah, Naruto... Kuruma's dead. He's gone. He's finito. He's finished. He's never coming back. I think he'll come back, because you can't kill the Bijus. They're like Chakra, right? So, maybe he'll be resurrected at some point. Don't know, but uh, for now he's definitely gone. Which is it's sad, man. That's uh, uh it's been a while since a, a main character has died. I mean, let's let's look at Bor let's look at the Boruto anime for example. What major characters have died in that? Onoki, and uh, does Mugini even count? I mean, we did get a lot of development for him, so I guess like he could stand in for one one of the more main supported characters. I guess uh, who got a lot of development before his death, and now like in the current story now with the manga, it's Kuromo who's now gone. So yeah. Um, we're definitely entering. You can tell this. You can tell this is Kishimoto doing all of this. I don't feel like we would have gotten something like this from uh, if it was uh, Ikimoto Moto doing it. But like, I don't know. It just feels like this. It's got Kishimoto's handprints all over this, like the writing and that. So yeah, you can tell this is his sort of style. And it's funny that Kuruma's dead now because um, a lot of people were complaining that Naruto and Sasuke were overpowered as hell, and now both of them have basically lost the very thing that gave them gave them that strength. Naruto no longer has Kuruma, which probably means that he, 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 he doesn't have that massive amount of chakra anymore, and Sasuke's lost his Renegon. So yeah, these guys are now back to being proper ninjas and shinobi, okay? They're like, they're normal again, and now I'm assuming we're going to get to a point or state where these two guys are going to have to now train all over again just to get their own strength, basically, instead of relying on the strength of other things or from other people or from their own body or from their own hidden powers that they had that was given to them so yeah um, it's gonna be interesting to see how these two are gonna cope without all of their major powers I mean uh, technically speaking the the two gods are pretty much now mortals essentially okay now we're cutting to the next page and Sasuke's looking he's still looking and there's Kawaki getting up and then he collapses he's tired <sighs> okay I, and Sasuke's just, like, I, Sasuke's just like, I see, so Kuruma's, and Naruto's like, I assumed I'd be the one who would die, though I suppose Kuruma would still be dead then too, I never thought it'd end up like this, and there's Kawaki getting up, like talking to him, not to be rude, but can we talk about this after we get home, yeah, thank you Kawaki, being the sensible one, oops, sorry about that, alright, sorry, let's get going, Boruto, can you do it, huh? Uh, me? Uh, you mean you mean using this? Yes, I can't use my Renegon anymore. Uh, and Boruto has a flashback to him, or Momoshiki controlling him, stabbing Sasuke. Uh, Sasuke's like, don't worry about it. I'm I'm just uh, I'm just stating a fact. This is not your fault. We were all prepared to die. We need to count ourselves lucky to have to have won and survived. Master, Kawaki is now like the man himself is telling you it's okay, so drop it. Just hurry up and do it, Boruto. Since there are, since there ain't no other way. Shut up. I know that. I need a moment, all right? <laughs> need a moment. Yeah, that's funny, man. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. They're gonna have to use the teleportation device from uh, Boruto to get back home. Damn, man. Everyone, everyone's acknowledging it. Like, <laughs> and now we're cutting, we're cutting to the Ten Tails prison. Where Cold is guarding it. Let this sink in, guys. I don't know if anyone said this, but let this sink in. The fact that Cold is the one who was assigned to guard this Ten Tails goes to show how powerful he really is because you wouldn't just give that to anyone I mean you didn't you didn't see Ijigan 
give it to Delta or, or Buro, was it? Or Kashin Kojin, obviously because Kashin Koji and Kojin was, uh, you know, he wasn't really uh, with them. But the, the point is, he gave it to Code. Okay, and that just goes to show how powerful code is. You wouldn't just give the job of guarding the Tentos to anyone. So, you know, you have to wonder how strong is this guy actually? Like, what is he really capable of? And it, it must be some extreme crazy shit if, if he's the one guarding the Tentos of all things. So yeah, we're kind to him. Obviously, he's waking up. He's probably sleeping. <sighs> yeah, that's, that's pretty much me every time I get up and my cat. <laughs> Ugh, I overslept getting up someone watching him what is that where's like darkness or something what is that oh he's looking down he's looking down to check on the ten tails sorry on the cage and yeah the ten tails is asleep it's creepy good all, all's well no oh, he's going back to sleep again and he's looking at his hand and he's got a karma mark on it so uh, has he been wearing a glove the whole time and we never noticed it or I'm curious now because uh, someone, someone pointed out something interesting right um, uh, Armodo for example wears gloves constantly I think we've never seen his hand I think or we have, we've never seen the palm of his hand so it makes you wonder if Code's got that it makes you wonder if anyone else has got it or, or was uh, uh, well let's see what he says damn it Kawaki supplanting me and being specifically chosen to become an official Orotsutsuki vessel, why would you be upset over that? Why wouldn't you be? I mean, it's basically your body getting taken over and everything that you were disappearing. I wouldn't waste the opportunity if I'd actually had a real karma instead of this dud. So, dud. And he activates it. Oh, yeah, you can activate it. It's like a circle and there's the patterns and there's steam coming out of it. Oops, something's coming out of it. Oh, it's Ishiki. Damn, there's the horn. He sees the horn. So, so Cold knew that Jigon was I Ishiki. Uh, your Cold, my most loyal, beloved serp servant, Utsutsuki Ishiki. What are you doing here? Well, I'm dead, boy, and I'm coming from the afterlife to haunt you. Or, technically speaking, you're the Luke Skywalker of this story, and I'm Obi-Wan Kenobi, and I'm here to tell you that you need to go and get trained by, uh, I don't know, uh, the other uh, Utsutsuki that will give you massive power so you can defeat the evil, evil Konoha Empire Village. How fate indulges in irony, that with all my vessels gone and nowhere for my soul to dwell, its destination would be you, Cold, who would not become a vessel. Your soul? The resurrection failed? What happened to Kawaki? I was deceived and betrayed by Amadu and was forced to resurrect in Jigan and Frost ended up like so. It caused Kawaki's karma to dissipate, but it appears your karma has remained. You who were not suitable to be a vessel. So is it an artificial karma or is it a failed karma that never you know, never took hold in his body. Like you need a Pacific. Because remember, I think, I think Jigan was getting a whole bunch of different bodies to try and 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 get Karma into them, and it only worked with Kawaki. And yet, Cold survived as well. Like, so what's what's up with that? But this Karma is a dud. Unlike Kawaki, I couldn't become a vessel. I am beyond humbled that you have appeared before me. But unfortunately, I cannot serve as a receptacle for your soul. The non-vessel white karma, that is my legacy dwelling within you in the form of pure power. And you shall inherit the Otsutsuki will in addition to that white karma code. What is going on man? My soul will dissipate shortly, but I cannot allow the Otsutsuki will to be snuffed out as well. Not when we have devoured countless planets and continuously, continuously involved over thousands of years. How many planets have these guys eaten like? Yeah, Code's like looking very serious, sure. Go on, what would you have me do? There's a panel of the Tentails and, and Naruto and Kawaki next to it, floating next to it. Kawaki or Uzumaki Boruto. Consecrate either of them to Tentails and cultivate a divine tree. Uzumaki Boruto. Then procure the chakra fruit that the divine tree bears. It is the crystallization of a planet's life. It shall contain everything. A record of all life that ever lived and died on this planet, including me. Eat it and upgrade yourself, Cold. Do that, and you yourself will become a new Otsutsuki. So what, like Kawaki was like 80% Otsutsuki now or something, like apparently? 
Okay, we got some uh, awesome, we got an awesome panel here that is freaky as shit. Uh, so we're looking at space now and a bunch of planets there. Then go forth and devour planet after planet across space. Keep involving until you until you become a peerless, unique as existence. A god. And we got this panel of of this huge being with like a the like three eyes, obviously. Like like weird crown sort of horn. I don't know man how to explain it. And a bunch of eyes behind it. Like a whole bunch of eyes behind it. I think he's got like freaking spikes or something coming out of his back. What the hell is their aim? They want to involve to become gods? Aren't they gods already? Like, what? what is the... what? Eating planets? Like, what? They're essentially parasites then, basically. They're locusts. Independence Day? They go from one planet to another, consuming everything in its wake. That's what it is, man. Like... That's essentially what the Osutsukis are. They're parasites. And Cole's just, like, listening to all of this. That is the Otsutsuki will that you shall inherit, code. A god, huh? But as a worshipper of Otsutsuki, you were my god. Oh, uh, he's light. Oh, he's turning his karma on, and there's light coming out. So first, I want to dispose of those who stole the pillar of my heart from me before I have the divine tree absorb all life. Tell me the names of the bastards who destroyed you. Oh, uh, he's going into full karma mode. Or white karma mode, if you will. So, so we got the normal karma, we got the white karma. I'm curious to see how different this this karma is from the OG one that we had, that we know. Maybe, maybe this is something that happens to Kawaki. Maybe he develops a white karma that that doesn't require an Atsutsuki, and but he still has the abilities, perhaps. So now we're cutting to uh, Bottle Cho trying to get out of the uh, out of the environment that they're in. Uh, how many more pages left? Damn, this is a long chapter. I'm on page 28, 29 now. It's 44 pages. Ah, oh, I want this to end already. Stop it here for the. And fun. we're continuing on. So yeah. Ugh. Ugh. He's trying to like he's aiming for the ground. <laughs> Damn it! It ain't working. Hey, tell me again. How does space time jutsu work? And Sasuke's just like looking. Doesn't even know how to answer. And Naruto's ouch. To have to rely on a fluke. And there's Kawaki just chilling on a rock. Like he doesn't even know what to say. Oh, loosen up. You're stiff as a board. It should be easy if you relax. Are you scared that he will emerge again? Right. Momo, Momoshiki, is he scared? But that's if your car chakra runs out, right? So he should be good for now. I never want to experience that again, but I honestly can't guarantee that it won't happen. My calm is gone for good. Thanks to you and everyone else. I lived only to get rid of it, but it turned out that I couldn't do anything by myself. Oh, now I'm just looking at him sadly. It's the same with you. You ain't likely to solve it all on your own, so stop thinking about it. That's easy for you to say. I'll somehow get rid of your karma. I swear it. Man, uh, uh, Kawaki's starting to sound a bit like uh, Itachi, man. Like, uh, except Itachi didn't tell Sasuke what, he, what his plan was before he did it. You know, removing uh, Orochimaru from Sasuke, devouring him and killing him. So it, I'm, I'm getting vibes like that. Like, like Kawaki's going to do some shit in order to get the karma out of... Boruto. Maybe, maybe this is what leads him to get Karma back. Like he needs his own Karma to get Boruto's Karma out. Maybe, perhaps. Uh, he, he is thinking like a big brother, man. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely getting like an Itachi vibe from Kowaki here, man. And this is why I keep saying like he's not gonna turn into a bad guy. If anyone's gonna turn into a bad guy, it's gonna be Boruto. And even then, I'm 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 assuming he's just gonna go rogue. Like he's gonna be he's gonna be like the like he's gonna do his own thing. He's gonna do what Sasuke did, like just run away from the village eventually, maybe to protect everyone. Because I do feel like we're close to the time skip and it has to happen at any point now. Maybe the halfway point of the series with volume 15, I guess. So maybe in the next four chapters the time skip's gonna happen. That depends if Cold doesn't straight up come and attack Konoha right now, like because because that could happen. That could actually happen. Cold could technically be getting ready to attack like and maybe send the tentails there and start wrecking havoc like and naruto and sasuke do not have their abilities so they would be screwed especially if cold decides to attack right now in that instant but we'll see kawaki we promise to help each other remember it's not just it's not over just because mine's gone i'm not stopping until we take care of yours too i suffered from the karma for years it ain't meant as a boost but i'm a lot more seasoned than you so I absolutely hate karma from the bottom of my heart, and I won't rest until I stamp them all out, no matter who has it. Sasuke's just like very quiet, like, uh, okay. I hate this piece of crap too. I want it gone now, no matter what it takes. Why not just chop off? That's a curious thing. What would happen if you just chop off your hand? 
right? Because it's it's in there, right? And that's what spreads and connects to everything else in your body. So what happens if you just cut off your hand and you just get a prosthetic replacement? Wouldn't that work too? Surely that would work, right? Right? I mean, yeah, I mean, you're losing a hand, but it's better than turning into that, right? Right? <laughs> Seriously, why has no one considered cutting off limbs? Like, surely that would work. Okay, and they're getting both. Good, we both agree. And in order to do that, you, news, you need to news it to get, back, uh, to get us back to the village. The real work will begin then. So how do I do it? I told you. And, oh, he's, oh, Kawaki's powering up, damn. What's going on here? He doesn't have uh, the karma, so why is he powering up? Quit freaking out and just hurry up and do it, you idiot, huh? What gives you the right to boss me around? And now uh, Boruto's powering up as well. Now there's like a big spear being formed, like what? Oh, Sasuke is grabbing Naruto and they're running in. Gah, yeesh, kids. Yeah, because it's like a second thing, isn't it? Like, while they have the time, get through it quickly and get the hell back. And now we're cutting back to Konoha. We're back with Amado, Shikamaru, Ket 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 Ketsuki, and uh, Sumire. No, not yet, Shikamaru says. Not while the situation still isn't clear. Shikamaru's like, who knows? I can't say. Just tell them to keep doing their jobs. Is he talking to someone? And Katsuki, dear me, how are things going to turn out? Any thoughts, Dr. Amadu? And K Kukutsuki notices something. He looks at Amadu. He's like, he's sitting there, sort of in the corner. To himself, what's going on? He's muttering to himself. Muttering, muttering. Dr. Amadu? And Ma Amadu realizes that Kukutsuki is watching him. Oh, sorry, you were saying? No, no, nothing important. Oh. Sumire notices as well. What was Amadu doing? He was muttering to himself? He was doing that, muttering to himself. Does he have a microphone or something hidden in his glove, whatever that he's talking to? What was he saying? Is he activating something? Because remember, this dude this dude had a freaking off switch on Delta. So that makes me think, does he have anything else? Uh, 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 does, does anyone else have that? Uh, Kashi and Koji? Uh, code, perhaps? May, may, maybe he's controlling code. Imagine that, like, now nah, 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 Ishiki's dead. He's like, well, screw it. Now I'm going to take over Kara. Yo, get back here and start uh, doing plan B, C or whatever and destroy this place. Like... Is no one considering the fact that this dude has, like, I don't trust him, like, he, he, cool character, by the way, one of the best characters I think introduced, but, like, this dude is so freaking suspicious, it's crazy. Uh, what? Shikamaru, you, you sure? Yeah? And Atsutsuki? And Gomo just like, I see, you're right. Push, uh, uh, rush the medic corpse there, we'll follow right behind. And he's turning to everyone, Naruto and the others are back, and no sign of Atsutsuki. It looks like things went well. And Omar is like, hey, what about Kawaki? Is he okay? You saw any, you saw any care about Kawaki there, dude? What's going on? I'm told they're all injured, but safe. In any case, we're heading there now. We'll know more then. I see. He's safe. He seems, I don't know, a bit, a bit disappointed. Thank goodness. And Sumire's just watching him, like, noticing something, realizing something. I'm on the Hokage's building rooftop. There's Naruto, Sasuke, Kawaki, and Boruto back. Good as ever. Phew, I'm beat. Ah, uh, to finally home to our village and Sasuke, yeah, barely, but somehow. They're standing here. Yeah. Boruto's just looking ahead and Kawaki's looking at him. Told you you could do it. Do it faster next time. Shut up, idiot. But you know, I do feel like anything's possible as long as I'm with you. Ah, oh, that brotherly love man that these guys have, it's sweet. Ugh, you gotta be joking. Hurry up and stand on your own. <laughs> Stop being dependent on me, boy. Like, I'm not going to be here all the time. And now we're cutting back to code. And we're looking at those images of the horns. Did we ever figure out who the other horns were? So, the top one, I'm assuming, was Ishiki. With the black, uh, the black uh, circle and the... And I think that's his horn style, right? And the one at the bottom, with the white circle, and then, uh, uh, like, the uh, the free triple circle, and the and the two horns on the side. Is that supposed to be Kaki, or is that someone else that we haven't met yet? Kawaki, the traitor Amado, Uchiha Sasuke, Hokage Uzumaki Naruto, and Momoshiki's vessel, Uzumaki Boruto, and there's just cold chilling, hand-formed. 
next chapter hits March 19. And that's that. That's the end of the chapter, and it's coming out March 19. That's when, uh, oh, that's when the Snyder Cut comes out, like, uh, on 18th of March. So, good timing. We get the Snyder Cut, and we get the next chapter for that. So, yeah, um, decent chapter. Honestly, it, it, it was mostly, basically, it was both uh, sort of an epilogue to what happened last Le Mans and a setup for next. Like, we knew that Cold was going to now take up the reins of being the, me the next story's main villain. So, you know, we sort of went from... We sort of went from like freaking, uh, what was it, Momoshiki to, um, uh, what is it, that, that fat ass dude to Ao and then to the big, uh, to the big guys, to Kara being revealed and I I I Jigan and then, and then Ishiki and now it's going to cold now. And uh, yeah, you have to wonder how uh, uh, Delta is going to play into this. And yeah, because there's not a lot of members left, aren't there? Because pretty much everyone, everyone besides them two are dead now. Amado's in uh, Konoha, and he's probably still doing some crazy shit. He's definitely got a scheme up, like definitely. Kashin Kojin just disappeared. God knows what he's doing. And Delta is is either still switched off, or maybe uh, maybe uh, Amado turned her back on, like when he was muttering in there. I don't know, man. Cold's gonna find her, and he's gonna do something like. Um, is he gonna sneak into Konoha? Is he gonna launch a full attack? I'm, I'm, I'm getting pain vibes, and I'm thinking that's what's gonna happen. Like, like he's gonna launch the Ten Tails there, maybe, and, and we're gonna get like a Kuruma Nine Tails uh, sort of 2.0 situation there, or maybe it's gonna be like pain, and Ten Tails just blows everything away again. But then that would make sense because uh, Konoha is destroyed in the time skip at that point when Baruto and Kawaki are fighting. So what is going on, like? Maybe it's my control. Maybe Armando is controlling Kawaki or something. Time will tell, I guess. Time will tell. I mean, uh, I once calculated when the story could potentially end, actually, if they're going to do 30 volumes and how many chapters we would get. And right now, yeah, right now we're on uh, volume 15 and that one's supposed to say March till June. So yeah, I've already calculated that. And volume 16 will be July to October, volume 17, November to February of next year, 22, and then so on and so on forth. So yeah, uh... The manga, if we get 30 volumes, the manga should end in March, sorry, in June of 2026. 2026, guys. 2026. We're in 2021 at the moment. Okay, that means this story's probably got another five years to go. God, imagine what the anime is going to have to do, like, before it gets to, before it does all of this crap. Like, you can, you... That's right, guys. We're still gonna get a lot of anime, anime canon, guys. Don't you worry about that, you poor little sweethearts. Don't you worry. We're gonna get a lot of that. But did it list how many chapters it's gonna be, actually. Did I list that? Yeah, it will be a total of 119 chapters if we get up to volume 30. 119 chapters, and we're only on chapter... We just finished chapter 55. I'd say we're not even halfway there, man. We're not even halfway there, like, if we're gonna get that many chapters, like, yeesh, yeesh, damn, man, guys, damn, not even halfway. Oh, boy. I, I think we still got two more episodes to go before that happens. But anyway, guys, I hope you like me, my reaction to this. Uh, maybe I'll do more. Don't know. We'll see. As always, uh, something has to replace Attack on Titan, obviously, so this might be it. So, yeah, as always, like and subscribe, whatever, and I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye.